Hi everyone, I'm Judith. Well today, we'll be making Mahi Mahi with a honey ginger glaze. Really delicious. So the ingredients you'll need for this is three tablespoons of honey, four four ounce skinless Mahi Mahi fillets, three tablespoons of sherry vinegar, one teaspoon of grated fresh ginger, half a teaspoon of finely shredded orange peel, two cloves of garlic minced, one tablespoon of cooking oil, half a teaspoon of cornstarch, and lemon wedges and endive are optional as garnishes. All right, so mahi mahi, I think, very underrated fish. It's subtle, it's beautiful, and goes really well with these flavors that we're combining it with it today. So, first of all, we're gonna whip up a nice marinade to cover the mahi mahi with. So, into our bowl goes our ginger, our minced garlic, our sherry wine vinegar, orange peel, which is just gonna give some lovely citrusy flavor to our fish, and some honey goes in there too, which will bring out the sweetness. Really nice marinade to go with this subtle fish. So we'll give that a good whisk all together, like so. So as all those lovely fresh flavors have combined together, Ooh, I can smell that ginger. Really strong, nice. It's gonna go great with the fish. Get a large baking dish, or two as we have here, and we're just gonna place the mahi-mahi filets in the baking dish side by side. And we're gonna cover it with our marinade. Lovely. Fantastic. We'll cover that with some foil or plastic wrap and we're gonna put that in the fridge now. So once the fish is covered, we're gonna marinate that now for 30 minutes. Let all those flavors infuse into the fish and make sure to, to turn your fish occasionally within those 30 minutes. Well, our Mahi Mahi has been marinating for about 30 minutes. So it's time to get those covers off. Wow, that looks good, very good. Lots of nice flavors there. So, in a large skillet next to us, let's get it to a medium heat and add in our oil. Let that get nice and hot. And what we want to do is reserve this marinade. So, keep the marinade there. And into the hot pan, we're going to add our mahi-mahi. Because it's going to make a nice sauce with the rest of that marinade. And we'll do two at a time, depending on the size of your skillet. So we want to cook the mahi-mahi about six minutes each side or until it flakes easily with a fork. So we've cooked our mahi-mahi, plated it. It's been uh, on the skillet for about six minutes each side and that's looking lovely. Great color to it and fantastic flavors there. So just set that aside one moment and into our pan, same skillet, just get it on a medium heat and we're going to add our remaining marinade to that. We're going to have a nice little sauce to go on top of our mahi mahi. So bring that to the boil. We get nice and bubbly and we just want to scrape all those little brown bits or anything that was left in the, uh, in the skillet from when the mahi mahi was cooking and into that marinade is boiling up there we're going to add in our cornstarch and that's going to help thicken this sauce we're going to put on top of our mahi mahi so give it a good stir and let it thicken up there on about a medium high heat all right so now that that sauce is thickened nicely we can just spoon it up on top of our mahi mahi and that is fantastic flavorful with those citrus garlicky flavors and that is one heck of a dish to serve up at a lunch or dinner. Beautiful. Fantastic. So there you go, everyone. That is how you make mahi-mahi with a honey ginger glaze.